Now we've taken all of our thoughts about this future PC uh, for the knowledge worker and worked together with Hewlett Packard to put together a prototype uh, that we call the Athens uh, Prototype PC. Uh, we think it's suggestive of, of some interesting things uh, and it shows how we're trying to get uh, early prototypes for us to do the software work so that if, if these things catch on, if you're building them into devices, uh, the software will be there and, and users will get the full benefit of them. Uh, I think the best way to understand this prototype is to uh, actually uh, take a look at it, see it in action. And so I'd like to ask uh, Chad Magandas, one of our program managers for hardware innovation, to come out and give us a little demonstration of the advanced uh, PC prototype. Welcome, Chad. Thanks, Bill. Well, it's my pleasure to introduce you today to our vision of the future business desktop, a collaborative effort between Microsoft and Hewlett Packard, codenamed Athens. Now, the most striking feature about Athens when you first walk up is a display. Wide, high density, flat. It really has obvious consumer appeal, but we're seeing dramatic productivity benefits with a display of this type as well, both in our internal and third party research. For example, we're seeing a 30% improvement on time and task with large displays. We're also seeing a 17.4% improvement in reading speed with high density displays. So there's some real productivity value in here for enterprises, but at what cost? Obviously a display like this would cost over $2,000 right now. Fortunately, uh, display search projections show that a 20 inch version of the same resolution display will have an average selling, po selling cost of less than $400 in the year 2004. One of the things that's less obvious about this display is the work that's gone into consolidating a lot of the components and cables that normally clutter your desktop within the display itself. This one cable from the CPU, which contains high-speed USB and video, connects a slim form factor drive bay, USB speakers, two-element array microphone, camera, and a Bluetooth transceiver that drives this rechargeable wireless keyboard that recharges right here in the base, wireless mouse, and a cordless telephone handset. By pulling the elements of the PC that the user normally interacts with into the display console, we make it easier to more independently support and update the CPU and the peripherals. We're really preserving the value, uh, the hardware investment in the peripherals themselves. In the process, we can substitute the CPU with a, uh, a dock so that laptop and tablet users can achieve the same no compromise desktop productivity experience and sacrifice nothing for their nobility. Athens also represents some long-term investments we've been making in the Windows system architecture to improve power management and security. For example, when I'm not using this machine, it normally powers down to the state. This standby state alone cuts power usage in the enterprise desktop by about 78%, which represents about a $95 per unit per year savings. Now, just because it's in the standby state doesn't mean that it's not totally manageable. In fact, I can still use the phone. And the uh, notification lights I have here, so when I walk across the room returning from my meeting, I see immediately whether I've got outstanding voicemail, email, or an upcoming appointment. Now, just because I can walk up and have the machine ready to go in less than two seconds doesn't mean we're done yet. We have to streamline the authentication process. I have here a flash drive that actually has an integrated smart card chip and a biometric sensor. So not only do I carry my documents around with me, but I carry, my secure, I carry them securely and I insert it just like I would insert the key to my car. When the PC comes on automatically, I just press my thumb to the sensor and I've restored my working environment. Now a few notes, this is prototype software as well as hardware. Hewlett Packard and Microsoft have been refining and designing Athens as a system, concurrently developing hardware and software and dramatically shortening the feedback loop to ensure that the end user is never the first system integration point. These prototyping tools really help us exercise the hardware and software integration. So for example, I know I could pick up a handset and make a phone call in the normal way, but with the PC added to the equation, I can use voice dialing or I can select a contact directly from the list. But our broader goal is to work with a wide variety of telephony devices and telephone services. 
whether it's the analog phone that I've had in my basement for three years, or an enterprise PBX system like this handset from EADS Telecom, or a Bluetooth solution like this off-the-shelf Sony Ericsson phone, this prototype Bluetooth smartphone, or this prototype PC po uh, pocket PC um, phone edition from Texas Instruments that not only integrates Bluetooth but Wi-Fi as well. The goal here is to have a consistent user experience and a consistent set of application interfaces that really abstract the complexity of the telephony integration solution from the user and from the application developer. So I can't show you all of these integration scenarios during the keynote today, but we have working demos of practically all of these up in the innovation room. And I encourage you to stop by this after room, afternoon to room 265 and experience them for yourself. So let's take a look at this um, usage scenario. I'm going to go ahead and start my music. And let's say I'm just working and I, I'm waiting for an incoming call. Well, an incoming call comes in and I can answer it with a speakerphone button right here on my keyboard. Hey, Mike here. You would not I can pick it up on the handset. Hey, Mike, can I get back to you later? All right, thanks. So let's uh, kill my music and talk about what just happened there. The incoming call immediately muted my music so it wasn't a source of background noise for my call. It also set my presence information to indicate that I was on the phone. When I hit the speakerphone button, it actually creates a virtual speakerphone from the speakers and high quality microphone that are already built into my system. When I picked up the handset, it automatically transferred the call to the handset. The same thing would have happened if I had picked it up on a Bluetooth headset. Now, the most important thing is this information page. Doing a ver reverse lookup on the caller ID, I was able to get all my contact information from Outlook, plus I get my complete call history, including all my notes from previous meetings, mail and messages that I've exchanged, files that I've exchanged. This is the kind of information I need to be more effective in my communications as I'm on the phone. Now, with all this information, we have a burden of responsibility to make sure the user stays in control of that flow. One way we do this is the same method you're probably already using at work. You shut your door. Or you put a yellow sticky on the outside of your cubicle saying, do not disturb, or email only. Well, we have the equivalent right here on the Athens PC in the do not disturb button right here on the keyboard. Not only does it light up here, but it pops up over in the CPU to show that mode. When that mode is in effect, incoming calls, as you can see right here, go immediately to voicemail, so I don't have any interruptions in my workflow. I don't have the pop-up, I don't have the audible alerts, and my presence information is set to busy. I'm still able to screen the messages on my auxiliary display in my handset, but it really doesn't interrupt the flow. Now that I have voicemail, I can press the voicemail light on my keyboard, and you pop right into my uh, unified inbox. Now the unified inbox you're probably very familiar with, it has my email messages, my faxes, my voicemail messages, plus my log of all my real-time communications. Uh, here you can see the message I just received, and actually Bill just forwarded a message from Shane Robeson, Executive VP and Chief Technology and Strategy Officer at HP. I know he has a message for the crowd today, so I'm going to go ahead and open that and play it for you now. Hey Bill, heard you're unveiling the Athens PC at WinHEC. Thanks a lot. I think this is a great example of how together HP and Microsoft are creating whole new categories of technology and at the same time addressing real customer needs. What's really cool about the Athens PC is it enables rich communications experience that combines voice, video, and text messaging in a simple, easy to use collaboration tool. So for our business customers who need to communicate outside their immediate work environment, the Athens PC delivers a lot more value than just plain email or the telephone, you get an experience that's much closer than when you're working and communicating face to face. And just like the collaboration between HP and Microsoft with the Media Center PC, I think we have something really special here that'll bring a lot of value to our customers and a whole new opportunity for our industry. I look forward to hearing what the folks at WinHEC think about the product. We at HP are really excited about it. Talk to you soon. Now, because voice is a first-class citizen in the Athens environment, I can actually reply to Bill's forwarded message with a voicemail just by clicking the record button on the keyboard. Bill, thanks for forwarding Shane's message. I can play it back right Bill, here. thanks for forwarding Shane's message. And send it on its way. This is the kind of thing you could easily do on a tablet PC between meetings. 
never have to touch the keyboard. So what have we seen here today? Athens is really delivering a simplified power management, cable reduction, and intuitive system controls. We've integrated telephony so that we're adding value to your calls, surfacing information that's already available on your PC or on the internet so that you can communicate more effectively. Really, Athens is a nexus for business communication, integrating all forms of messaging, voice, video, ink, text, recorded or real-time, into one seamless communication and collaboration experience. Thank you very much.